Good morning, everybody. I'm very sorry I can't be with you in person today, but I'm very grateful to Semi Europe for the invitation to connect with you digitally. There is no doubt that Europe finds itself in the middle of a series of grand, great challenges. An aging population, energy and environmental pressures, debt and a rapidly globalizing economy. In this context, I'm conscious of how important the semiconductor industry is for Europe and for our digital society. The fact is, we can't solve those problems without ICT. And that means you are going to be at the heart of those solutions. I liked very much an idea several semi-Europe members recently came across in Shanghai. At the local museum, an exhibit read Semiconductors are for the information society, what grain was for the agrarian society, and iron and steel were for the industrial society. What a great idea! It reminds us that the semiconductor industry is a source of jobs and a source of innovation, that you are a conduit for the better research, the smarter manufacturing and the experts, experts that Europe badly needs. What does the EU have to do with all this? We need to do all we can to create the right framework conditions so that you can respond to competition from Asia and the US. You are still holding your own, more or less, in terms of research and development. But there are real problems with bringing this knowledge to market. The truth is, individual European companies may do perfectly well with research and development in the US, manufacturing in Asia and selling in Europe. But as a union, as a society, as Europe, we need to retain and strengthen our research and development capabilities and rebuild our presence in advanced manufacturing. Therefore, we need investments and companies who work to build the future instead of milking the past. There is no use trying to do that in a fragmented fashion. To this end, the European Commission has started the Key Enabling Technologies Initiative, which covers semiconductors and aims at identifying the concrete actions we need to take now. We are also consulting on the future of European research programmes. Let me address one aspect of our research support to your sector specifically. There are two joint technology initiatives we have set up to serve your sector. ENIAC and Artemis. They pull research support from member states and Europe and implement strategic research agendas developed with industry. This was an experiment, a first of its kind. We have learned our lessons and seen that the idea is right, but that we have to improve the implementation. And I have decided to go for this, a lift these initiatives to the next level, financially and strategically. You can help me with that. You represent important companies and I invite you to add your voice to mine when I raise this topic with research ministers. Let me close by stressing that I look forward to continuing the dialogue with the semiconductor industry and its equipment and material suppliers. And I wish you a very successful event.